The impact is like a shovel full of fine sand flung against the face. People caught in their own yards grope for the doorstep. Cars come to a standstill, for no light in the world can penetrate that swirling murk. The nightmare is deepest during the storms, but on the occasional bright day and the usual gray day, we cannot shake from it. We live in the dust, eat it, sleep with it, watch it strip us of possessions and the hope of possessions. It is becoming real. The poetic uplift of spring fades into a phantom of the story past. The nightmare is becoming life. Avers Carlson wrote that within a New Republic article, the Dirty Thirties was by far one of the worst natural disasters on U.S. soil. It destroyed acre over acre of farmland and towns, stretching from Canada to New Mexico, Texas, and Kansas. However, the whole country was affected by this black snow. Though not as severe, the rest of the United States encountered plenty of drought, not to mention dealing with the Great Depression. As for the Dust Bowl, an alias for the Dirty Thirties, these series of numerous and devastating dust storms raged for ten years. For those citizens who chose to stay, they faced endless struggle. Not only were there numerous sieges from dust storms, but there were also the pestilences. With the natural predators not being an issue, the suppressed creatures such as centipedes, locusts, and rabbits all rose in great numbers and would decimate crops. They would even eat things around the house, such as the wooden handle of a shovel or the wood siding on the house. All the citizens eventually had to round up the creatures and kill them to save themselves. However, the pinnacle of despair was April 14, 1935, which came to be known as Black Sunday. An enormous black cloud erected its vile face and either swamped all towns in its path or simply obliterated them. Witnesses would describe the event as the dust being so thick that you literally could not see anything. Anything. Moreover, even in a sealed house, doors shut and windows closed, the dust would just sneak through the cracks and fill the house. And the worst part was that we had ourselves to blame the excessive replacement of grassland into farmland and the neglecting of crop rotation coupled with the drought caused erosion. Once it began, the effect snowballed into a catastrophic tragedy. So much was lost that many people almost lost all hope for the future. However, hope is a very powerful force. The government took notice and they motivated the farmers to start farming in a proper manner, such as crop rotation, and they encourage them to restore the natural grasses. The dust storms dwindled down and died out at the end of the 1930s. This scenario in our history is a great teacher of what could happen if we neglect nature and change too much.